What's good, YouTube? What's good, 56 Squad? We back with another video. Uh, Y'all can tell by the title, finna be reacting to Devin Haney and um, George Cambosa. Right, Cambosa? Or is it Cambosa? So I think it's Cambosa. George Cambosa um, fight happened Sunday. Um, really Saturday, I was seeing highlights and stuff on Saturday. So, um, but we finna react to it. Cause I did not react to it, so we're gonna react to it right now. And um you know, and I want to I just want to react to it because um this is um big for Devin Haney. And I am a Devin Haney fan, you know what I'm saying? I gotta support the black fighters. I wouldn't necessarily say black fighters, but um I like to support I like to support people in my age, you know what I'm saying? I like to support young black male in my age. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and Devin Haney, he won the bro. So, uh, yeah, bro. I mess with Devin Haney. I think he's a great fighter. Um, I believe he 20, I think he 23. I think he is actually my age. Uh, I don't know where my phone is. Have to make sure I'm good. But, um, yeah, we're recording. Let's see, Devin Haney. Devin Haney. Yeah, he's 23, he's born in 1998. So he a couple months older than me. He about to turn 24 in November. I just turned 23, so he a couple months older than me. Like seven months older than me, but uh, yeah, bro. I like, like I said, like, I just like to support, um, you know what I'm saying, young, um, you know what I'm saying, that's in my age range, um, 21, 22, 23, 24, um, 25. Yeah, so yeah, bro. I like to support, you know what I'm saying, show my support to the dudes that I do. Mess with and Devin, like I said, like I said already, Devin Haney, he cool. Uh, he seemed like a cool dude. He one of the cool dudes, you know what I'm saying. I like his um, ambition, you know what I'm saying. Um, but you know, obviously, I don't really know that. I don't really know him like that, though. Like I can't just sit up here and act like I know him like that because I don't know him like that. I never met him there in my life. But you know what I'm saying. I rock with him. I like what he got going on. Um, and he clearly about that paper. You know what I'm saying. He's undisputed, bro. He is undisputed. There is no more debate about who's the best fighter in the lightweight division because Devin Haney is the best fighter in the lightweight division, bro. You can't say Javante, you can't say Tank the best uh, uh, fighter. You can't say, you damn sure can't say Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? I get why people like Ryan Garcia, you know what I'm saying? Especially the uh, Hispanic, um, you know what I'm saying? That side of the spectrum and then, you know what I'm saying? So I get why people like Ryan Garcia, I get it. Um, but I'm just gonna be real with y'all, bro. I'm just gonna, before I pull the screen up, I'm just gonna be real with y'all real quick. Like, I'm gonna be real with y'all real quick. Ryan Garcia is not, he's not beating Javante, he's not beating the tank, bro. He's not beating Javante Davis, okay? He's not beating him. And he's not beating Devin Haney. He's just not, I'm sorry. The best fight in the lightweight division would be to see Devin Haney and Javante Davis. Like, that that's a fight that can really happen too because now uh, Devontae uh, or uh, uh, Devin Haney is, he's undisputed, lightweight champion in all those divisions. He got like six belts now. <laughs> he took all George Cambos' belts. Um, you know what I'm saying? He beat the best. He beat who was the top dog in the boxing world. I didn't even know who George Campos was, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I don't really follow boxing like that. So I didn't even know uh, George Campos was even like the champion of everything. Like I didn't even know that. 
um, like I said, I only watch De uh, Devontae Davis and uh, and uh, um, um, Devin Haney. So like, I didn't even know, and I know they both undefeated, and Devin Haney, he's still undefeated. Like, they both undefeated still. But yeah, I think I think Devontae, I think, uh, I don't know what, I think Devontae Davis like 20, I wanna say 20 something. He 25, you know what I'm saying? I think he 25 and at least. And then Devin, he 28, you know? I think he was 27, now he 28. Right, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or whatever, but yeah, bro. But you know what I'm saying? To y'all, Ryan Garcia fans, um, I'm not gonna say I'm I ain't gonna sit up here and say I'm a Ryan Garcia fan, but um, you know, so I'm not a hater either. Like, um, I think he a cool fighter, um, I think he a cool fighter, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm not even going, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna say he's a cool fighter. But he not he not messing with Devin Haney nor uh Devontae Davis. So uh Javante Davis, so yeah bro that's that bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be hating all y'all Ryan Garcia lovers. Um, you know, I'm not hating on y'all, I'm not hating on him, I'm just saying I'm just speaking facts, bro. Y'all know P you know he's six he gonna speak them facts bro he gonna he's just gonna he gonna tell you how it is you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep it a buck so that's just what it is that's just a fact uh, and i think y'all know that too like i think y'all know that y'all just don't want to face the realization y'all just want to see him get his ass beat for y'all to just be like okay yeah dang okay yeah you know what i'm saying you're just gonna be speechless like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you're just gonna be speechless if you fight javante davis or uh Devin Haney, bro Anybody else, I got faith in him beating. How about that? Anybody else, I got faith in him beating, but Devontae Davis or or uh, or uh, Devin Haney, his reps. Sorry, sorry, Ryan Garcia. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. Sorry, brother. But um, yeah, bro. Look into this reaction. Uh, y'all really, y'all came here. Y'all clicked on this video. You know what I'm saying? If you clicked on this video, you saw the title. You probably claim on her either to just see PD6, which I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all for watching me. I appreciate y'all, you um, know what I'm saying, for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and like the video. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? We finna, um, we coming up, bro. We coming up, bro. Let me pull up this recording. This is not really a true highlight. You know, I might watch, we might watch a few highlights, you know what I'm saying, edit it down. You know what I'm saying, we'll see what we can do. So I'm redefining what's possible. We are students a lot. But, uh, if you are. Yeah. Well, what a packed stadium we have over in Melbourne. You have there the likes of Michael Buffer doing the ring announcing there on the, on the main event. Of I kind of don't like how he's talking. He announces right now, as we know, the new champion, like he didn't even have to say that yet. He a bad announcer. <laughs> I'm playing. Come on, man. I kind of don't like him talking. Like I wish it was just like some music or something. I don't know. I'm just not liking his voice. The dream. Hey. I like that. That uh, his fit. His uh, his fit that he wear for this. Uh, it's the gallery depth. That's hard. His 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 uh, his fit hard for this fight. Y'all can get a look at it, yeah, gallery depth. That's hard, that's hard, bro. That's hard. And then he got the shorts too, that's hard. I like art too, bro, like that's like real artsy right there. That's tough. Who is he the lightweight champion that making his way to the ring for the How many belts is that? One, two, three, four, five belts. So it's five belts. And then Devin already got one himself. So this dude got five belts. Or I had five belts. See the capacity crowd there in Melbourne, Australia, looking confident, and so it should be, because it was going to be a fantastic night for him. But not such a great night, unfortunately, for the former WBO, IBF, and WBA and ring titles, world lightweight champion George Ferocious Cambosis. Cambosis. Wow. So as both fighters entered the ring and stared each other down, Haney there. So George Cambosa is, is 20, he's won 20 fights and he had 10 KOs. He's 28 years old. 
Um, so, you know, half of his fights, half of his wins came from KOs, from knockouts. So, you know, that's good. That's pretty good. Age 28, That's good. That's real good. You know, I'm not going to downplay that at all. The, that's, uh, that's good. And he had all them belts with, with the Jets 20 fights. Like, in the red corner, George Rosas, Cambosis. And then I skipped Devin Haney. I think they show his. So, yeah, here we go. We got Devin Haney. So, he didn't have 27 fights. He had, so he 27 and 0. Um, he 23, like I said. Um, you know, won 27 times plus this, so he is 28 and 0 now. But he had 15 KOs out of all his fights. So, you know what I'm saying? You you can't say that uh, Haney, Devin Haney not putting dudes out either. So, you know what I'm saying? We can't say that. They both got half. He Devin Haney got a little bit over half knockouts. So you can't be saying he ain't putting nobody out because this dude got 15 KOs. All right, so I don't want to hear nothing about well, Devin Haney ain't he ain't fighting. He ain't really putting the paws on nobody. He ain't doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause he 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 <laughs> clearly he's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Enough said. Let's go. World lightweight champion George Ferocious Camp on a George Ferocious Camposis, age 28, 20 and 0. Both of them undefeated, so there was a lot on the line there. It was the top dog, top status of division. Someone else was going to fucking go, and it did. So, as we go into round one, you see Haney shot straight away with that jab. One, then slipping straight away underneath or rolling out the way of the hooks from Cambosis. However, in round one, Cambosis did get some success. Devin was jabbing him, bro. He was jabbing him. He was definitely jabbing him with that left. He was hitting them with them left jabs, which is smart. In the early rounds, but it was all Haney, jab to the head, jab to the bottom. Yeah, I gotta realize this is boxing, bro. This is not a street fight. Like, this is boxing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta come in. These dudes come in with a game plan. Like, they study these fighters. They study their opponents, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, that's how they win their fights. You know what I'm saying? By going that distance. You know what I'm saying? If you can get the knockout, you can get the knockout. But a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? It goes the distance a lot of the time. So, you know what I'm saying? This ain't a street fight where you trying to just literally just go out and kill the dude. You know what I'm saying? Especially this fight. This fight was not that. Cambosis did okay as we're going to round two. You know, he's coming in with the hooks. But instead of, you know, trying to work his way in with the... I think they still fought though. Like I think they still had a good fight. They still had a good fight. They still had a good fight for sure. Hooks to the body, hooks to the head. The problem was Devin Haney. He was getting better at the exchanges. You know, he was uh, always finish off on the one-two left. On, on the sorry, on the on the on the one-two slipping under back on the one. So he always finished off. I mean, Cambosis was Cambosis was throwing the most, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta give it to him, Cambosis was definitely throwing. But, you know, you gotta give it to Devin, bro. He he said like like he he hand, like like Devin said, bro, he handicapped him of uh he handicapped the Cambosis of his best uh attributes, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he pretty much annoyed him, like he knew what he didn't like and he did it, like can't. In the face, boom, 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 non-stop as we're in round four of the highlights. Absolutely incredible double jab. That's there. the only thing about when you're covering up like that, bro. You can get hit. Like, you can easily still get hit like that. When you're covering up like this, you can easily still get hit. Like, that's why I, that's why I don't like my boxer. They just stay like this. They just stay like this. They stay like this. Because you can easily still get hit, bro. Like, put your guard up, you gotta move around. But Haney just was too slick. Then you gotta throw punches. Look, just so nice. Look at that. Beautiful the way he rolls underneath that hook. Absolutely beautiful. Back on the jab again. Bomb, bomb. Just constantly scoring as we're in round five of the highlights. And this for me, in the, as we get towards the middle rounds, was where I thought Haney just started to run away with it. I mean, this is where I saw round five. He was absolutely just 
boom, bang, pistol jab straight down the pipe into George Verosis. Again, slipping lovely underneath the hook, you know, getting the better of the exchanges, getting the better of the replies. That's All these the first trash. The punch <laughs> is we're in round six of the highlights. Again, Cambosis is coming back, seems to try to work the body a lot, but you know, for me, his hands are a little bit too low. And his head a little bit too low. Either. You know, whether there's some frustration by now, me. halfway through. Um, yeah, a little too low there, my boy. Undisputed title fight. But it just seems as if that, you know, he was just swinging for, swinging for hope. Now we are gonna react to uh, Devin Haney. I said Devin Haney, Javante Davies and the Roley fight too. You know, I just haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, but I do, I don't know. I think I do wanna react to that. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. We probably are gonna react to that. We're gonna see, bro. We're gonna see if I can get it in. If I can get it in, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna make it. We're gonna make it happen. I don't wanna wait too late though for it because that, that fight was like a week ago or something like that, but you know what I'm saying, I still, I still look you want to react to it, so we're going to see. So, uh, when he was composed and kept his composure, and he got a few floors in, you know, Cambosis did get some great success, don't get me wrong, but pretty much, round for round, I just saw Haney right there, one to the head, hook to the body. Let's see what it is now. Boom, again with the jab, boom, again with the jab. That just steps out of range of Cambosis. When Cambosis comes in there, bang, gets him on the lead hook. They're just a master class schooling of how to fight in distance to keep a broad. He was bucking that. <laughs> I did, bro. He was life. real life bucking that. He never allowed himself to get drawn into a That ball left hand was vicious, that's fine. George Ferocious comes out. As we're in round eight, and round eight's pretty. They said how many times he jabbed. I forgot. It was a lot. He jabbed him a lot, bro. Devin had he jabbed him a lot. It was a lot to a little on the jabs. Like, he jabbed him a lot. Exactly the same. Non stop, jab, moving, slip. You know, he slipped. Again, boom, look at He the bucking him, bro. Again, putting a one two together. You know, even when these punches weren't that fast. I didn't even see that. Devin fail. I didn't even see that. They were accurate on top. He ain't knock him down. He just failed. He like tripped or something. I don't know. And just oh, I think that's when he pulled, Cambosis pulled his arm, Devin arm one time, I think one time when Devin punched him, and then Cambosis caught his arm, the one he threw, the one that Devin threw, he caught his arm and like kind of like hooked it underneath his arm, and then he tried to, uh, Cambosis tried to hit uh, Devin uh, while he had his arm. I do remember that. I think that's what that was. I don't think he failed. Um, he was just a little low. Uh, and again, you know, three, he bucking him, bro. Combination punches <laughs> landing on Combosis. Combosis then starts to rush in, and if you notice, there's just no head movement. He's just standing in front of Haney then, and Haney starts again. Just there, to right there. Out that uh, uh, pistol jab and just boom, pepper the forehead and nose and face in round ten of uh, of Haney. Uh, George there grabbing all the arm, trying to hold on to his man. He's trying to say, right, come here, I'll okay, we'll have a go at this. You know, and he chased him down and he came to fight with Cambosis. Don't look at this like, you know, he was out class, he got schooled. No, it's styles that make fights. George Ferocious Cambosis is a ferocious fucking fighter. Do not get me wrong. It's just that Haley had a better plan, all right? A better plan and he stuck to it and he made it work. Simple as that, you know, there's nothing else more you can say about it. As we enter round number 11 of the highlights, and again, you can see Haney ducking under that uh, sweeping hook from Cambosis. <laughs> Look at there in round 12, again, working off that jab. Now he's just moving around, he knows he's ran away with his fight as he moves around the rings, pepper jab. He said, What happened? Y'all want to see a young nigga win? <laughs> Cambosis. The fight comes to an end. We all know the decision. Haney is on the ropes. He's ecstatic. He knows he's done enough. Fresh as a daisy. I know Devin said uh, in his interview, he was like, he ain't have his cut man. His cut man. Uh, he ain't have his cut man. So he ain't have a cut man throughout the whole fight. That's why he had that odd thing like that. That could have affected the fight, but it didn't. 
not a problem. Uh, George looks a little bit there like, you know, he's had a golf. He knows he's the pizza man. But congratulations, Devin Haney. And the new undisputed lightweight champion of the world. No, that was a good fight. That was a real good fight. Um, if you actually saw the fight. Also, like, I was watching it at first. I was watching it on Saturday. Here in the U.S., or at least in Arizona, it was, um, the fight was on. So I was watching it a little bit Saturday before I went out. And then, um, yeah. So, you know, I saw a little bit of it. The, the little bit that I did saw, you know what I'm saying? It was a good fight. Um, both dudes fought. Um, it, like, it wasn't like a brawl, which... I kind of pretty much knew it wasn't going to kind of be that because the type of fight it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, end of the day, these dudes respected each other. Um, for the most part, they pretty much respected each other. And, you know what I'm saying? It was, they was fighting for five belts. You know what I'm saying? Cambosa was fighting to keep it, and Devin Haney was fighting to take it. And so they came in with a Devin Haney especially, he came in with a plan. He showed that he even said it multiple times that he came in with a plan. And Cambosa's, you know, he just you know what I'm saying? I feel like he just went out there and he I think he just a go with the flow fighter. You know what I'm saying? I think he do very little studying. You know what I'm saying? I think he just trusts his instincts for the most part and he just go out there and do it. You know what I'm saying? And that just didn't get it done with a fighter like Devin Haney. So you know what I'm saying? But anyway, bro, I hope y'all like this video. Hit the like button. New Undisputed Lightweight the, uh, Champion of the World, Devin Haney. Congrats to the bro. Um, like I said, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, bro. And uh, yeah, bro, we lit it. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get it. Yeah. But you left it all on scene You said you would make it back to me